everybody. This is Katie Carney for Katie Carney Stitching, and this is my floss tube number 40. It is Tuesday, February 23rd. Um, I hope that you're all well. It has still been snowing here pretty much every day. Uh, I'm off work. I was off yesterday and today. Fra and I were scheduled to get our vaccines on our second doses of vaccine for COVID on Friday. Uh, and then due to weather issues, we got bumped from Friday to Sunday. And then a whole lot of vaccine in Pennsylvania drama last week. Weather, 100,000 doses, 100,000 second doses were given us first doses throughout the state. Uh, more weather, uh, just great mismanagement. So it was actually last week was really stressful for me. Uh, we didn't know, you know, initially, like, we have to get the second dose. But now the CDC is saying you can wait longer, up to 42 days. But it's already been 30. Like, just, it was it was a lot. And Fra was not stressed, but I was. Um, I think she's just at a point in her life where she doesn't stress like she used to, which is great. Um, but that does add to the burden of stress that I carry. Uh, but we... <laughs> Excuse me. We went Sunday at 1.40. I had done a lot of prep work, um, a lot of organizing and cleaning. Um, we, I pre-made some food uh, in case we got very sick. And then we ordered takeout for dinner. Um, my local Mexican place, it's like our favorite. Well, it's my favorite and it's up there for her. And we also got from them their chicken and rice soup. So that if we were sick, we had soup to take care of us. Um, turns out she was fine until yes, yesterday was Monday and she was fine until the early afternoon and then her shoulders really hurt. She probably had a low grade fever um, and then she's just, and even today, she's just wiped out. So she's been napping a lot, which is fine. Um, and then for me, a couple hours after I got a weird headache and then um, overnight, I had a, a bad, like, not, I don't know if it was bad because I couldn't get myself out of bed to get to the thermometer, but I did have a fever. Um, I could tell. My joints hurt. You know how the, your joints hurt when you have a fever? My hands, so bad. The injection site hurt so bad that when I went to the bathroom, our toilet paper roll is up in the air more because it's an old house. And I, like, <laughs> couldn't lift my arm to get to the toilet paper. One o'clock in the morning, and I was like, oh, God, what do I do? <laughs> um, so I didn't sleep well because, you know, there's just this, you know, do you take Tylenol? Do you not take Tylenol? You know, back and forth, back and forth. Fraud did take her Tylenol. She takes four extra strength Tylenol a day. So I think that's probably why she did not initially have any problems and why I did. Um... And I just kept telling myself, at 6 a.m., you can take something. And at 6 a.m., I did. Um, and once I took something, I felt fine. Um, all the symptoms went away. I did take, I laid down for about an hour yesterday afternoon. And then today, I feel great. I had already taken the day off of work. So I kept it off. Um, and then I'm using still 2020 PTO. I haven't even started using the 2021 so I was like, I'm not going to stress about it. I'm just going to take the time. So we are both fully vaccinated and we will be um, at complete vaccine strength in another like 12 days, uh, which is great. I have to go to, so I go on a planning trip for our conference every year. It's in Atlantic City this year and I am scheduled to go March 10th through the 13th. I'm so, I never thought I'd be so excited to go to Atlantic City. Atlantic City is not that fun a place, but I am ready to go. Um, so we'll be there. Wednesday will be a travel day, Thursday, Friday work, and then travel home on Saturday. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> uh, it's, it feels good to go and obviously still be incredibly careful. Um, but, you know, I can't. It's for work. I have to go. So it feels good to know that I don't have to stress as much. Um, 
I am looking forward to eating in restaurants in, in Atlantic City, though. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> um, so that's good. Also, um, my right after I recorded my last video, I came on here and I did a little intro and then I uploaded Fra's first video about her dad. And so many of you watched it and it really means the world to me. Uh, she is done her mother's. Uh, that'll be filmed in, I think, another week and a half. Um, yeah. She only wants to do, we only want to do one a month, so she has plenty of time to do research. And then after that, she is doing, she knows very little, we know very little about my grandfather's family, but we are going to do his family and then the history of the house, uh, which is so fun. So that'll be two videos from now. So thank you for watching. It really means a lot to me. And she was so excited when I told her that 160 people had watched the video. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, a lot of it was you guys. So it meant a lot. Um, let's see. Uh, Valentine's Day happened. Um, I'm pretty sure it snowed. Maybe it didn't. Uh, I saw Mark briefly. He got me. He got me a, a, a cover for my fancy watch, and then he got me those little, whoop, 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 there we go, they're, uh, they're little bunnies, and they're all dressed up to go someplace. They're very cute. Um, and then actually, Sarah K. Stitches, so Sarah, who lives a couple blocks away, we were supposed to get together, and then I canceled. There was just, I couldn't... <sighs> So I canceled, but she had gotten me a little, not a little, she got me a huge <laughs> Valentine's Day, Galentine's Day box. And she packed it all up in this, this tub. And it's so cute and it's full of things. I'm not going to unpack the whole thing, but I am going to show you some highlights. So um, the most important thing is she made this for me. Isn't that adorable? It's a little bookmark. Um, so I actually, I'm reading a book called Prairie Fires right now, which is about, uh, Laura Ingalls Wilder, but like what was going on while she was writing the books. So like what was really going on while she lived in the big woods and when she got married and like more background into it. And I am really enjoying it. Love it. Um, it goes into much more detail, obviously, than a children's book, and I was a little worried that it would be kind of like little house bashing, which happens a lot, uh, but it's really not. Um, it takes a very um, fair look at both the problems with the settlers um, and what life was like and how poor they actually were, because I mean, in the books, she paints a very rosy picture. Um, so I am highly enjoying and I highly recommend and this is this is in there and then also in there was this beautiful Beautiful box, so I actually have this next to my trencher with my pillows in it And then she got a pack of my favorite Peacemaker needles. I love these they are my favorite. She dyed me a piece of fabric and it's like my color Hang on. Look at that. It's a beautiful, beautiful Ada. Can't wait to use it. It's a little pinker. There we go. It's This is the color. It's stunning. Can't wait to use it. And then she got... I've wanted to try this. This is that Stitcher's Lotion. Highly recommend. Love it. There was some yarn in there. Some pins for finishing. Uh, some floss, a couple, a couple knitting books, which was so sweet, and then actually a couple patterns that I absolutely adore. So first off, this is Wooly's Pin Keep. Can't wait to do this. I love it. And I think I have fabric that'll work. So this is Cinnamon Stick Santa. And this is Designs That Reflect Our American Heritage by Sandra Sullivan. And this is Mary Noel Sampler Santa. Isn't that adorable? I love it. She like knows me better than I know myself. And then this is Turkey Time Needle Case and Scissor Fob. So this is for Thanksgiving. 
I don't, she did, ugh, Sarah, it's too good to me. So this was a very exciting, she just left it on my porch. I'm telling you, porch, porch surprises, highlight of the pandemic. Um, and I just kept like unwrapping things. <laughs> it was very overwhelming and very, very exciting. So thank you so much, Sarah. Um, and then that rose there, there we go. I got that for Fra. Uh, cause she asked, I was going to get her an orchid cause she loves orchids, but she asked for a rose plant from our grocery store. Turns out she's allergic, but she wants it to plant in the backyard, like in the garden over the summer. So I'm getting it until that time. So that's, that's all the updates I have. <laughs> I guess technically Sarah's gift is kind of like stitchy. Well, it's not kind of, it's stitchy kindness. So. If I remember any other updates, I'll let you know. I do have two finishes. Uh, they're both smalls. The first one is Stronger Together. This is the Fat Quarter Shop Stitch Along for Black History Month. So I think I had started this in the last video. I'm not going to lie. Did not enjoy this. I don't know why. I think it's just it was a lot of stitches. I am using 18 count Be Stitch Me. Winter's Brew. This is one of their fabrics of the month. Um, DMC, one over, well, it's uh, one strand, Theta. So I ended up leaving off, and I guess it kind of looks a little blank, I but I was just done with this. So there's supposed to be these stars here. These are black, which is, I think, weird. I think that's a weird color. To put on here. I couldn't figure out what the 310 was for and then I figured it out and I was like mm. and then so I have trouble with stars and snowflakes all the time and I was just like I'm it's a pillow that's gonna fill in my dough bowl it's I don't need it it's fine um so that's that I used this is not the called for DMC that's a it's a color and cotton mistletoe I think uh, because I didn't have the called for DMC, so I just went through my fancy floss stash and pulled that. So that's one that I'll turn into a pillow soon. And then I finished, actually last night, Ink Circles, My Danish Heart. Ooh, there we go. <laughs> I did this one, not the one with the white. And I did this on 18 count, picture this plus... Ren, I think. So there's that. This one is off. So, such is life. Um, this will just be a pillow also in my dough bowl. I like it actually quite a bit. I thought it was a lot of fun. And then I did leave, because I was using two strands on 18 count, I left the center part open uh, just because I thought that it looked, I thought it looked really good just like that. So. Uh, and then I will be using this for my next pattern, the next small I'm going to work on, which will be a St. Patrick's Day piece. Uh, what else did I work on? I worked on a lot. I have two new starts, like five whiffs. You know me. So, on Saturday or Sunday, actually, you want to know another FFO? That bookcase. That's why I'm sitting in front of it. Um, so, last time... I recorded that day I was like I'm going to work on Christmas spirit now I did not I ended up so this wall here is where my two bookcase bookcases that have like all my floss I had project bags on them my magazines um, my floss tags like it's really all cross stitch stuff so what I did was I'm gonna turn you I moved them over there. Sorry, you can see my messy desk. I moved them over there. And then I moved, uh, my desk is right here. So that's my desk. And then I just put a bookshelf right there. Not that, I don't think you can really see, it doesn't matter. So I moved a bookcase and then I have this whole blank wall. And I'm always looking for more storage solutions because I'm a hoarder. 
aren't we all? So this is from Walmart. It was $70. And then I bought four of the little like cubes. Now I already have a cube storage. That's a small cube storage from when I was in high school, college. And I was like, well, I put that together. This will be fine. This was heavy. I, a friend had, I got it up onto my front porch and then I had to call a friend hysterically and I was like, can you come and help me get this up the stairs? And then it took me a couple hours to put it together. Y'all, it was hard to put that together. It was, my floors are not level because I live in an old house on top of a coal mine. So I had to keep lifting the entire thing up to get it to be level to screw it together. I was sore for like two days, but it's together and now I have storage. All that to say, this is an FFO. <laughs> and I didn't work on Christmas Spirit that day. So last weekend, I ended up working on it both Saturday a little bit and Sunday. So this is Christmas Spirit, or the Spirit of Christmas, excuse me. And it's by Lavender and Lace. This is a sal with Vanna Pfeiffer, and it's the Big Bap. Christmas sal. I am using a 32 count natural brown linen and the called for DMC. Oh, and actually Sarah got me this um, Santa needle minder. <laughs> too much is too much. So I, the last time you saw this, I had finished the candle. So everything below that first candle is new. Um, I love this piece but it's not the fastest moving project there's a lot of confetti in that green um and then the reds you know you'll do like 20 stitches and then you change colors but i just it's worth it uh, and once you get in a groove you kind of keep moving so i'm very very happy with that uh, and i'll work on it again this saturday uh so <laughs> I'm going to take out the, take it out of the plastic. I am, I did these two candles, oh, there we go. I did these two candles and this ribbon. So I'm getting close to finishing this part of the wreath and then I'll come around here and then it'll be time for Santa. So I do think I might have this done by Christmas 2021, hopefully. But yeah, such a pleasure. L highly recommend this. If you can get the pattern, it's like kind of weirdly hard to get. So that's whip number one. And then... Hang on. This is not something I worked on. <laughs> then I have another whip and two new starts. I didn't work on a ton. Oh, and I finished my hat. It's downstairs though, so. Um, time to work on Lady of the Flag. So I pull this out and I do, I made photocopies, so I finish a page. I am not done the page I'm working on. It's taking forever, but I'm working on the actual flag now. So, I had, this is where I picked up from, and that's where it is. She is just, she's huge. And um, so yeah, I'm working on, I love how when it when you look at it now, you can see where the stars and the flag are gonna be. Cause I was like, what are these weird holes I'm leaving behind for beads? And then I figured it out. So it is, um, when it's on my frame, when I walk into my room, sorry about the light there. I just, I love looking at it. I think it looks great. Um, oh, I'm sorry. So, yeah. And it's going to fit. Um, it doesn't go up. I think there's like another 
10 or so rows, so it, it looks like I got it in the right spot. So I'll finish up this flag section, and then I'm going to take a break and work on, actually it'll probably be March 1st and it'll be time to get Consider the Lilies out, but uh, the Shire is next in my rotation. So that is a current, that's what I'm currently stitching. Uh, I got a lot done, not a lot, a couple hundred stitches a day, and then quite a bit done today because I felt up to stitching. Yesterday I, I stitched, but not a ton. I did a lot of reading. Then I have two new starts. So then I moved all this furniture and I was going to work on Christmas Spirit and I put like 10 stitches in and I was just not here for it and I just couldn't settle down. And I remember Michelle McGraw saying, when I can't settle, I like to have things kitted up because I just want to be able to sit down and start something new. And it just so happened that I have, um, this is Country Magic Stitch. And it is Welcome to Hogwarts. And I have it kitted up. So it's Welcome to Hogwarts. She has three done of the Harry Potters now. One, this is Hogwarts. She has Hogsmeade done. And she has um, the Hogwarts Express. And she is working on another one. And it's awesome. So I am doing this. I decided to try it on 18 count. Ada. Um, and all I've done so far is blue sky, night sky. So this will be the moon and then there'll be clouds here. And then down here is um, going to be Hogwarts. So you can like see where the top of the tower is going to be. That took, so I'm doing it on 18 count, two threads, tent. And it did take quite a while. <laughs> um, it's a lot more stitches than I initially thought, which is fine. Um, I like the Country Magic stitches because they're big blocks of color. Um, the Shire that I'm doing for my dad is another one of those. So, and that's next. I'm pulling that out next. It's, it's time for it to get some love. And then uh, it's Lent. Uh, I did not go to Mass on Ash Wednesday, which felt weird. Um, so I could go to church now. I'm vaccinated. There's never a lot of people in my church. But it's so different that I don't know how ready I am to accept, not accept, I'm not ready yet, and I'll get there, um, but like Christmas Eve Mass was weird, you know, you get used to doing odd things, like when, you know, you go to the doctor's office and they take your temperature, but like I walked in the church and they've got a jug of hand sanitizer and they take your temperature and you have to get your hands sanitized, and then there's like assigned seats, you can't sit where you want. Um, you're not allowed to sit in the back of the church, it's closed off, and I'm a back of the church sitter. And then you leave right after communion, and it has been, like, ingrained on my brain that you cannot leave when the sacristy is open, and it's just, it was, I couldn't, it was no. So, I didn't go to Ash Wednesday Mass, but I did have my Ash Wednesday start, uh, which I have shown you guys before, the picture. So this is from... The 1995 April Leisure Arts Magazine. There it is. And I am using a 32 count color and cotton. Uh, the color is Requiem and it is 32 count Lugana by color and cotton. So it calls for, I think, a 28, so it's going to be a little smaller, which is fine. Um, smaller is always better. It takes up less space on the wall. I started this, and I was like, I don't know how I like it. And it's just because I was doing this, like, it's eight, DMC 822, so it's kind of white, kind of cream. 
they never lay right, at least for me. Um, so there it is. But then on Friday, I did the rest of the row of letters. I had gotten the A done. So I did the rest of the row of letters. And then I started, are, are these Algerian eyes maybe? Mine are not perfect. I am learning. Um, and that is, there's a lot of fancy stitches, fancy for me, stitches in this piece. So um, it's, a, it's a learning experience. So I will pull this out again on Friday and hopefully finish that row of Algerian eyes and start on the next row of letters. So, and then the saying on this uh, is, For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting light, which is John 3.16. Uh, and I really, it's a, it's a nice piece for Easter. So, that's that. So those are my whips. Uh, I will continue the page finish till I get a page finish on Lady of the Flag. I will work on my Easter stitch on Fridays during Lent. I will work on Christmas Spirit on Saturdays. On the 1st of March, I will pick up Consider the Lilies. And then in between all that, I will work on the Shire and hopefully finish the third of four pages. Okay, I have a lot of haul. Um, so some of it had come in right after I filmed. I had, I had ordered a while ago. Um, and then some of it came in. I, uh, let's just look at it. So I am, I did, at the end of the video, I will show, I got the, um, the tea box, the Jane Austen tea box from the Black Noodle Society. It was a birthday present from my friend Susie. I got it about a week ago. She had ordered it in October. So I am going to show that, but I will put up a, I won't, I will say if you got this box and didn't open it yet, don't keep watching. Uh, so let's look at all. Hang on. I'm going to try to make less of a mess. Hold please. Okay. I'm back. Let's get to it. So First off, from Stash Unload, I got Butternut Road, and this is Christmas Visit, and it was like $6, including shipping, and I love her. I think she's beautiful, so I got it. And then, also from Stash Unload, also by Butternut Road, for like 4 or $5, I got these two little kids in this little sampler. I don't know if I'll ever stitch this one, but it was cute, so I grabbed it. And from the same woman, this is Lavender and Lace, the second Angel of Freedom. Isn't she pretty? I love this. So it does look like she stitched it, um, but the pattern is totally fine. Then I do a monthly order of the Heartstring Samplery Sunday Stitches. It came in yesterday, and this month is... Be thou my vision, and it says, Thou my best thought by day or by night, waking or sleeping, thy presence my light. I love that. Very, very pretty. So, I get these from um, Dreama at Needlework Corner, maybe, in Baltimore. But I added the Country Cottage Needleworks. So, Vanna keeps posting the um, needlework, the monthly samplers. So I copied her and I just, I emailed Dreema and she added me to the monthly, I'll get them both every month. So here's January, cause I had to get caught up. There's January, so cute. February, also cute. And then if there's time, I'd love to do this one this month. There is March, love it. Um, they obviously have the classic color works, but they do list the DMC alternative, but I don't know what fabric they use. Let's check. Um, here we go. These call for 32 count beautiful beige by Weichelt, 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 whatever, one of those. 
I would love to start the St. Patrick's Day one. Maybe I will. It's the year of starting things for me. So that is some of my haul. Then you will remember, la you won't remember. I will remind you <laughs> that last year I did a Lindy Stitches um, Easter piece. So this was Alas and Did My Savior Bleed. I did this, I started it on Ash Wednesday, and then I ended up finishing it well before Easter because it was just a very comforting piece at the beginning of the pandemic. She, this year, did a second. Um, so this one is, was it for crimes that I had done? He groaned upon the tree, amazing pity, grace unknown, and love beyond degree. So, of course, as soon as this came out, I got it. Um, I got the PDF. I prefer to buy, if I can, I buy a PDF because I like instant gratification and then I can just print it out. So I bought the PDF, but I did go to her website and I ordered the floss pack. Um, it's all classic color works, which is great because um, I really like classic color works. It's balsam fur. Honeycomb, Tartan Plaid, and Fresh Brew. So, and I think it only calls for those. It calls for those four plus 310. Uh, apparently, so the text is a hymn by Isaac Watts entitled Alas and Did My Savior Bleed, written in 1707. She charted the first verse in a pattern with the same title, and this is the second verse. Uh, and I love it. So it calls for 40 count, uh, and I have some 40 count. So my last year's was on like 28, that's why it's so big, but this year's is gonna be on 40. And then I was on our website, so I ordered these sweet little scissors. I thought they were cute. I didn't need new scissors. And then, you know it's a Lindy Stitches package. So I got got one of her famous cats. And then she always sends um, one of these stitched by. I actually might put this on last year's Lenten piece. And she always sends you a little note with a free pattern. And this is before the ball. And so that was my Lindy Stitches haul. And then, um, so it's Charm School. Uh, Allison, I think it's Rosen. She makes needle minders. She posted a video in this on her Instagram of what is called, by the way, her, she prints her invoices out. They're so cute. It's like a little prescription. Um, but they're called a tail tucker. So she's got a video on her Instagram. So if you want to see actually how to use it, um, she shows you. Oh, mine's a B. Um, so what it is, is it's a piece of wire and it kind of opens up and you put your tail through there and then you can you put the tail tucker through your stitches and then you put the thread through and then you pull it out. So for me, I often leave myself a very short tail and I'm hoping that this will save me. And then I don't, I'm sure people, you have ordered from her before, but she makes her little envelopes that her stuff comes in. And then she sent me a little card in here that's got a discount code and she always sends little like die cuts um in a little envelope again and then because i have no chill she also had a like cinderella needle minder that i got um and then I did get free shipping because I signed up to be on her email list. So you can do that from her Instagram profile. So um, I do recommend her stuff. I have a couple of her needle minders and the tail tucker is very, very cute. So, and she just, she packages everything really, really cute. So if you're like me and like cute packaging, 
I also got some stitchy, more stitchy kindness. So this is from Marty. She wrote me the sweetest little note um, and she has this sweet little personalized paper. And she sent from, she sent me all through the night, silent night. I love this. You guys know I love the Christmas music. And then she sent Quilter's Cottage by Lori Holt. It was so sweet of her. And um, it's funny, I had reached out to her to ask if she wanted something from my stash. And she's like, well, no, I don't, but do you want this? And I was like, oh, yes, I do. <laughs> so I guess I reached out to do a nice thing, and it turned out that she did the nice thing. Okay, so this has been so much fun. And if you are not interested in seeing the unveiling, unboxing, whatever, of my um, Spill the Tea Jane Austen box from the Black Needle Society, now is time for you to sign off. Uh, and then for those of you who stay, yay! Um, so I have done, this is my third of their boxes, and I am going to continue and get the Harry Potter boxes. Um, one, because I want the charts, and also because I love a theme. I did do their advent box this year. I don't, it was not my favorite. This box was amazing. It, I loved everything in it. I was really impressed. None of it felt cheap or like filler because I had to get a certain amount of things in the box. Um, so I, this box was really, really great. I do not do their bi-monthly clubs. Um, I looked at the themes and none of them were like my thing. A friend got me this for my birthday. I love Jane Austen. Uh, and their themes are really fun. It's just I'm not into Gilmore Girls. Um, I loved Pirates when I was younger, but that's not my thing anymore. It's just stuff that's not my thing anymore. But Jane Austen and Harry Potter, my thing. So uh, it came with... The Literary Tea Collection, and this is a black tea, and it is Jane Austen's Black Tea Blend. I have not opened this yet because my tea ball got rusty and I need a new one. Uh, it also came with a very pretty cup and saucer. Uh, I'm just going to take the cup out, not the saucer. It's in the bottom. So it says inside, but indeed, I would rather have nothing but tea, which Jane Austen said. And then there's the cup. It's very, very pretty. Um, I'll be honest, I might re-gift the cup. I have, I like, I like a hot cup of tea. And my problem with teacups and saucers is one, there's gold around it, so I can't microwave it. And two, because the they're so the the opening is so big, the tea gets cold too fast for me. But very pretty, and it is uh, a china mug made in China. And then it came with this very nice. This is a reusable shopping bag, but it's like a, a thick vinyl. Uh, and then it is the I think this might be the one that they carry at Barnes and Noble. Uh, and it's got a Jane Austen quote on it. These are definitely the classics they carry at Barnes & Noble. It also came with, from Out of Print um, Collection, Pride and Prejudice. This is like a notions pouch, although it's big enough because it's pretty big. This is the size. This is my bullet journal. So you could put a small project in here. And then... We got some Lady Dot Creates um, finishing uh, lace, and it is. It looks like it's um, like tea dyed or something. It's it's definitely grunged up quite a bit. So I like it. I wish it was a little less grungy, but we got a hard perfume, which I have not used since I was really much more into reenacting. I had a terrible time getting this open. Uh, it's a very, very floral scent, which is what they wore then. Um, so that was nice. Oh, I didn't even notice that I got this. Uh, this says everything that was in it. Then came with 
the so they always do like a, a needle minder and I really liked the needle minder hang on let me get it open so it is it says obstinate headstrong girl so it's a, another quote and it's Jane Austen it's really 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 nice metal um, I like the, I like a big magnet on my needle minder so love that and then it came with floss tags and these are all characters from her books and a ring and oh I'll show you the less exciting thing it's still exciting uh, a hand this is Anne at sea so it is a bar soap smells delicious and um, it's a persuasion soap and I do like a hand Ugh. I do like a, a good soap like that the most exciting part for me though was the pattern the chart that came with the box was by heartstring and i'm going to take it out so you can see it i beth twist could do no wrong in my eyes i love everything she designs that's why i'm getting her sunday <laughs> stitches um and i have a fairly large collection of her patterns um but this is it says there is nothing i would not do, do for those who are my friends so this is from um, Northanger Abbey, and it is so pretty. I love it. And then, as with all of her pieces, it's got a story in it, and it calls for graham cracker fabrics, which I've never heard of, uh, and the color is tea set, and it's 32 count. It calls for weeks, um, several. I will use what I have, and then I'll pull the DMC, but the kit, the box, excuse me, also came with flosses by Forbidden Fiber Co. And three of the specialty, so there's the flosses. And then they are of course themed Fanny's Friendship. And this is used, is this? Yes, so this is used in that chart. Um, Anne's, cons Anne's Constancy is used in the chart, and Mary Ann's Broken Heart is also used. So they did use three, and these are the other three, three of the colors in the chart. Um, so thank you, Beth Twist, for doing that. Um, this is definitely on the short list of things to start. I absolutely adore it. Um, I love heartstring, so I'm really, really glad I got this box. Like I said, I don't know. Um, now their boxes are closed uh, for, I think, the bi-monthly, or I don't know if it's monthly or bi-monthly. So those are closed, and the specialty boxes, I'm unclear how they're going to go about that. I did get the Frogwarts Year 2 box, so I will be able to have the second part of the Harry Potter band sampler, which is important to me. Um, so yeah, it was a very, it was the nicest cross stitch box I've ever opened. Um, I loved the colors. I loved the chart. I love the one problem with the Frogwarts box last year is the color and cotton colors that they got. None of them were used in the project. Um, so I like that these are going to be used in the project. Because, like, some of those color and cotton colors, they're all specialty for the box. So they're never called for in a pattern. And I'm like, well, what do I do with this random bunch of colors? So, anyway, great box. Really happy with it. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing it. It was so nice to catch up with you all. Um, I really wanted to film Sunday, but there just I had so much nervous energy. <laughs> I couldn't do it. So I'm glad I got to catch up with you today. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. I hope that you are enjoying the end of winter but are listening to the birds chirp like I am uh, and are getting ready for spring. I will talk to you guys hopefully in a little less than two weeks. So please stay safe and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!